Boys and girls, today I want to show you how to change a seal on a 4440. Uh, you can't pry the seal out of there. Uh, the seal is actually the seal is actually behind behind here. You got to take this off with six bolts and take this big snap ring out. That's all only snap ring you need to take out. I'm going to show you how I endeavor to do it. It's not easy, and I hope I don't break my noggin in the meantime so boys and girls watch out safety glasses are important okay just take a variety of screwdrivers i don't know which one i'll use but just try just try to pry that one out it's not easy just gotta kind of wedge that that snap ring out and away. I didn't say it was easy. Let me get a medium sized screwdriver. Yeah, what I did, I took a nice sharp screwdriver and just put it in the in there and twisted it. This is where the danger can happen. What if it flecks out? I would recommend getting your vice grip, a needle nose vice grip. This is a six inch, I think. That way you can control the Control the snap ring. It's all about controlling. You can do it. Now I'm just kind of, once you grasp the snap, just kind of work it out. It wanted to flip, hurt something, but I didn't let it. Okay, now that snap ring is out. I want this whole bearing to come out this way. And to obtain that, take it out of the vise. Turn around and tap it. Woo! There you go. The shaft goes in there like that. And here's the seal that we're after. Let me take, let me show you how to take that out. Get a big screwdriver. And a hammer and I'll tap it out. Hammer, screwdriver, go from the back. You're gonna hurt the seal, but I got a new one. Came out now. The reason this one was leaking is rubber, the rubber feels pretty hard, so throw that away. Clean this housing off of oil, that's pretty important. When you put a seal in, always, always put a little of uh, automotive silicone. On the outside of the seal, not on the rubber part, but on the outside of it, so that it will not leak. 
I don't care how smooth this is. Always put silicone where the seal hits the housing. I'll get some. Hang on. Here I'm back in with a new seal and some Permatex silicone. Check if it's the right seal. Yeah, it, it seems it would fit in there. Check it where it goes on. Yep, that looks like the right seal. Okay, right seal. Happy person. Okay. The lip of the seal, it's where the garter spring is, it's got to go towards the oil, towards the oil side, just like, just like that. Now you don't need a whole lot of silicone here, but you, didn't, you do need some, I'll tell you that. If you spread it thin with your finger, you don't want any silicone on the rubber part of the seal. You just want it on the outside part of the seal, just like that. It's messy, I know. And I'll just put this in there. Now this seal, you don't want to hurt in any way. So you got to figure out a way to, to tap that seal in. Sometimes I take the old seal since it's already the right diameter once in a while I'll take that seal and wipe it clean and use this as a driver. Now that's kind of a cheap way of doing it but once in a while I do that. Other than that just kind of tap Tap all around. If it's if it starts going easy, that probably means it's it's caulking. It's getting going crooked. So try tapping the opposite side. Just kind of work that work that seal in. Always looking carefully at the depth. You want it to go in and not one side ahead of the other side. And work it in. If you do warp it, you're gonna to have to get, throw this new seal away and get another new seal. Don't use it if it's damaged. That will not work. You might be in the middle of Alaska or Brazil, but don't don't use a damaged seal. Okay, I tapped it in. It's nice and even. A little residue of silicone around the edge, not much, uh, but it's all flush, nice and even. Now put some grease on the lip of this seal. Gun grease, it is. You don't need an obscene amount. You don't need an obscene amount of gun grease, but just a little bit of grease. Just like that. You need a little bit, but you do need some. You can't put it, don't put it in dry. 
put it in dry a little moisture will could freeze the rubber to the steel and uh, rip it I got the seal installed with some grease on it and I'm ready to put this back in let's see let's see how I'll do that okay let's open this up, 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 up. Little ways or this this part of the shaft can go in there make sure this is nice and clean shiny and clean this bearing is good everything is good that seal is kind of there's gently insert shaft take a hammer just tap it you can see the full groove now I'm ready to put the snap ring in again it's always the hardest part I like to clamp it clamp the whole business in the in the vise so it doesn't move around on me too much clean the dust off of it Hold the snap ring like this, put it close to there, and just start pushing the free end in, in, in and in. Never easy. I actually push it in with my thumb, the loose end. If you guys know of an easier way, let me know in the comments below. I have not found an easy way. But I'm getting it, see? Just hold it there, have your safety glasses on, and tap that. Whoop! Did you hear that snap? Hear that nice snap? Now make sure it's seated well by, by turning it a bit. Yep, it's, it's seated good. Now, this is ready for installation. Make sure this wave washer here is in good shape. Put a new gasket on here. Snug these six bolts up and tighten them. Good. That seal is brand new in there with that new grease in there. Ready to seal this 4440 off again. Till next time, boys and girls. I appreciate you. Hit subscribe and hit like if you wish.